Murphy, and today I'm going to talk about HSL and Grayscale in Adobe Camera Raw. But before we get started, I want to show you the before image in front of you here and the after. Now I understand that, the, you know, I see that this is more saturated than I would personally have my image, but I wanted to show you the difference between the before and after uh, using Adobe Camera Raw. So let's get started and open up my file. I've made it a DNG and if you have don't know what a DNG is then definitely go to my website SullivanJPhotography.com and go to the tips and lessons area that's where all these videos are at. I talked about basics and that video did discuss GNG. I talked about tone curve detail and now we are on HSL and grayscale. I will just what we're doing today is globally changing this image. Up here to the left, I will discuss those in a video. And that's basically taking a section and fixing things there. And I, I did do that to my image, so I will definitely show you that in the future. But today let's talk about HSL. What is HS, HSL? Is hue, saturation, luminance, and then the grayscale. Hue what this does is changes your image color. So if I want my oranges to go off to the right, you can see the color that it's telling you that it's going to change it to. And then if you go off to the left, it's going to change it to that color. And basically, the scrubby right here, you can just go back and forth with it. Uh, easy, it's really nice and I love it because it, you can make your changes really quick. If I want my blues to go blue, and then get to the pinks, I can go that route. Or if I want it to go off to the left, you can see the changes that it's going to make. So these tools in here change the actual color globally in your image. What saturation does is change the hue. What, what it does is changes the hues amount of color that you're having. So if you want less of the oranges, you're going to reduce the saturation. If you want, the reason why I'm going for oranges, obviously you can do all of yours, but you can see my image is a, a desert image, so that's why I'm shooting for the orange a lot. But any of you could pay attention to your uh, photograph and change those colors if you got to use these. I just don't have purples and magentas in this image it's that much to show you on the video. But if I want to increase my amount of color or saturation, then I go off to the right. So that's what this tool does. Blues, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more saturation to the blues. Next, what we're going to talk about is luminance. Luminance changes the light, the lights of the different colors of your image. So globally, if I want to change my oranges and I want them to get darker, then I go off to the left. If I want them to go lighter, I will increase it. Now let me show you something really quick so you can understand. The orange is super dark, right? You can double click this to get it centered if you want. Also what you can do is click on the default and it will change it. So you could start with zero and start all over again. So let me show you the saturation real quick. Again, if I take these oranges down and desaturate and get rid of the hue colors, the colors, I'm going to make this basically, it's going to turn into a black and white, right? But if I go back to luminance, like I showed you before, if I go that way and get rid of the lights of the image, or decrease the light, it's not going to go and make this a black and white. It's just going to make the orange very dark. Actually, you've blown pixels and it looks ugly, but you see what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's what luminance does. It actually decreases the light or increases the light of each of these colors within globally in your image. Now let's go to grayscale. Convert to grayscale. Click on that and you get into your grayscale. 
which grayscale is always about luminance, basically. It's lights to darks. It takes the colors that are in your image, and you can darken them by going darker or lighten them by going to the right. So that's how you change your black and white. Now, uh, if any of you know me, I am actually, I do a lot of my black and whites with Adobe, I mean, uh, Nick Software ColorFix, not ColorFix Pro, um, it's uh, SilverFix Pro. And I like to use that, but that doesn't mean that this is not a good tool. This is an excellent tool. So please, feel free and don't listen to everybody saying that you have to use this to be a good image. You have to do this or you have to shoot this way. This is my little tidbit. Do whatever you can to make an image beautiful and listen to everyone and try the things. Don't listen to anybody telling you what you have to do. Because if your image is beautiful, they're going to be like, how did you do that? Oh, I use an ACR. Oh, you did? Yes, I did. And it turned out to be a beautiful image. So that's my little tidbit of the day. <laughs> I can't help it. I just get on a rant page when people try to say, you have to use something. I don't think so. Anyways, to get back to the beginning, auto is where um, beginning of convert to grayscale. Auto will, uh, Adobe Camera Raw will change the image to what they feel or Adobe Camera Raw takes all that information and changes it. And then default basically gets to the beginnings and then you can make your changes the way you want to make your changes. So I like to actually use, um, just go ahead and make my changes on my own. So that's basically it on, uh, oh, real quick, let me just go through this. Now when you take this off, you get right back into hue, saturation, and luminance. And if you go back and click on convert to grayscale, all of the changes that you made will be there still, so you don't lose anything. And uh, the next tutorial is actually going to be the split toning, and I actually like to use split toning more with black and white images, so it's a perfect thing to talk about next. So definitely stop by and uh, see my website and check out the next tutorial, which will be split toning. Alright, cheers. Have a great time playing with your Adobe Camera Raw.